Hello everyone. Today is a story about a man who found his street name in Zimbabwe capital Harare was not available in Google Maps. How did he go that extra 2000 mile is a breathtaking story. Let's understand what all happened and what are all his future plans for entire Africa. The on-the-ground imagery wasn't there. I was having dinner with friends and my friend's dad asked me to show him my mom's house on the map. And, um, you know, we all have the habit of looking up our home. The first thing we pick up a map. And so for me, that's something I had done before. And I knew that I could not find my home. Then he took the challenge on himself, contacted Google immediately and offered them to digitalize Zimbabwe maps. He hired a camera and Google provided other infrastructure support. He started his journey in all modes of transport, shot in the air, car, cycle and even walking. Tawane Kanima covered its natural beauties, forest, Victoria Falls from all the angles. I see maps as a proxy for what we care about, places, place names. We are thinking about communities that have been left out of some of these platforms. We're thinking about really connecting those, those communities to the rest of the world. When you look at Google Maps, when you look at Street View, along the path, somehow you have countries that are completely missing. There are about 54 countries in Africa, and right now I think there are about nine or 10 that have been mapped. Two of those were mapped by volunteers. So we're really thinking about how can we bring these technologies to communities that would otherwise not happen. People like you inspire more positive change and it just continues.